They say it's gonna be as flexible as an ash bat and that it's actually as hot as maple. Oh, Come on, that needs to go. What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today we are swinging a new type of wood. This is called European beech wood with the mine bat. Let's get it. All right, here's a closer look at the mine bat made of beech wood here. So they actually claim that this is more durable than pretty much any other type of like full pure wood out there. They say it's gonna be as flexible as an ash bat. So really forgiving on the hands and that it's actually as hot as maple. And this really isn't even that expensive. This is an $80 wood bat that's gonna be durable and allegedly hit the ball pretty well. So today we wanna compare it against some similar bats. So here we have two five series bats from Louisville Slugger. This is the M9 maple that's gonna be 80 same price point as the Beechwood Mine Bat. And then we have the Ash Bat, which is going to be cheaper, but a similar quality of wood. It's just going to be ash. These bat companies can talk a really big game when it comes to their marketing, as flexible as ash, as hard as maple. So we want to put it to the test today with similar priced bats, good affordable wood bats. Let's see how the durability holds up. Let's see how it swings and feels. And let's see if we can put some balls out of here and see how that barrel compares against these uh, maple and ash bats here. So let's get it. All right, we're going to go ash first here. And we have 243s for both of our uh, Louisville Ash and Maple models, because this is gonna be the, the power version of the Beechwood Mine Bat. Oh yeah. Ooh, go ball. Did he? Oh, wall ball, that's pretty. God, I, we said it last time, for $50, this is very good. It's not gonna be super durable, but that's, dude, that swing's good. Really easy to, for, this is one of the easiest swinging 243s I've ever hit with. All right, now we got the $80 maple, the M9. Oh, that'll do it. Peace. Bro, this thing's hot. It's crazy how loud this is, too, compared to the Ash Bat. It's like a way louder. Yeah. Wow. I like this bat. Yeah, that's that's a damn good bet. Later. Woo! Wow. Oh yeah. Okay. Good old maple, baby. For eighty bucks, bro. That's <laughs> very shit. good. That's very good. All right, now it's show time for the European Beechwood seventy-nine dollar mine bat. Let's get it. No way! Ooh, snuck it out of here. First swing, baby. Not as far as the maple, but that felt all right. The swing weight's a lot closer to the ash bat. Nice and easy to swing. Oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> See! <laughs> In a double two. <laughs> that was a pretty good <laughs> The bat did not break, he just chucked it. I guess it was a little slick. <laughs> Dude, that's the first time we've ever done that. Really? That's the first time it's happened on Bat Rose. That should go pretty far. Ah, one hop, not quite. Uh, it sounds more like the ash. It does. It's like a dull sound. Come on! I got that pretty good. No, one hop again. All right, come on. Come on, mine bat. Not quite the same juice. I'm hitting very well with it though. Easy to swing, good balance. 
the barrel's nice and long, like good forgiving barrel. I should say it's easy to swing compared to a 243 maple. Compared to a CF Zen, it's not, <laughs> not gonna be super easy to swing. Like it. Oh. Come on, ball! Yes, got it. Oh man! Woo. That ball's killed. Come on. Oh, the wall ball king. It's honestly good, dude. I, I think I probably like, especially with durability uh, considered. I think I probably like this more than the Ash. I would agree with that. Yeah, I'd still go Maple, but this is gonna last a little longer. Yeah. Feels good, you just don't get that same you don't quite get that same jump as you do with maple, and it's a lot more dull of a sound. This sounds like the ash bat. Woo! See ya. I got it. No. Oh, oh, oh. Not quite. All right. Yeah, it's like you hit it, it feels fine. It's definitely way softer, though. It's like ash. Just like ash. Yeah. Yeah, like the way the like greens are set up and everything. Performs like ash. Yeah. Interesting like birch durability too yeah. it's gonna be a lot more flexible huh. oh, come on that. that needs to go oh no yeah the maple's hotter the maple's hotter for sure let's go back to the maple that hands short. but one hop that short hop bro wow Yep. That's a difference. That's all you need to know there. Okay, so it's a lighter, more durable, not as hot maple. Yeah. That's cool though. It's really not that bad. Yeah, no, it's legit. You know, someone the other day actually asked me for a cheaper, you know, wood bat model that yeah. it could swing and it could last. Good, That's perfect. It's gonna last. It's not gonna flake like ash no. either. And the handle is gonna be way more flexible, so the handle's gonna last longer. I mean, for 80 bucks, that ain't bad. We'll put it against the big boys in Bat Madness though. All right, there you have it guys. Our first shot at European Beechwood with the Mine Bat here uh, compared to Ash and Maple. Again, pretty affordable guys, only 79 bucks. So really at the end of the day, what the Mine Bat is, is a more dull sounding, more flexible, easier to swing, not quite as hot version of like this 243 maple and a lot of people are going to want that guys that aren't necessarily wanting to hit home runs and want a good bang for your buck a somewhat durable wood bat that still swings like an actual wood bat uh honestly like it's pretty solid man uh pure performance though i'm still probably going with this uh, maple m9 that thing was really hot man for 80 dollars. i haven't found much that was better up at the 100 level i really really like the 243 rawlings wood composite i would probably spend a few extra bucks and get that but this is going to be up there with that bamboo maple build as far as durability goes but yeah it kind of hung in there we honestly liked it more than the ash bat but i think the maple's a bit hotter so all right, guys, thanks for hanging out today. Uh, if you liked the video, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to help support the Bat Bros, you can check out our merch over at baseballbatbros.com. We got hoodies, sweatshirts, and t shirts over there. Really appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out.